Hello, I'm Ed Trilisi and welcome to Aurora 4X, the incredibly in-depth, frustratingly fantastic space strategy game. We have just built ourselves five salvaging vessels. And the idea is we're going to go to Davit, where we found a load of precursor ships that we wrecked, and take them apart and see if we can learn anything. So we're going to give them a movement order to head to Davit. That'll take them 39 days. And then when they get there, standing order, salvage nearest wreck. And that means that when they get there, they'll just start salvaging each wreck in turn. I won't need to queue up, you know, 20 orders or whatever. Uh, righto. Okay, so the Wolfkas are now in Davit and they've begun their salvaging and... We already have some pretty useful stuff. We have research points, 1,200 research points towards the next level of beam fire control. And we got some minerals. And we picked up a thermal and an EM sensor, both strength 11. As far as I can tell, this is a one size, so it's one hull size, 50 tons. Ours is strength, what, five or six? This is strength 11. What we can do is we can take these back to Earth dump them on Earth, and then we can take them apart to figure out how they work, and then they'll give us tech. This is really useful. Um, this research points, by the way, is in the Wolfka, so it's not actually stuff we've got. We need to go to one of our systems and download the info. So we do actually need the Wolfka to come home for this to actually be useful. Um, this is this is crazy good. Now, this won't actually give us tech many, many levels or higher. The way it works is if the tech is many, many levels higher, it'll give you the points towards the lower tier of tech. So it'll be the next tier of tech we're working on for thermal and EM, not, you know, 11 power or whatever. And we also have the poke maple ready to be built. Uh, I think we're going to build two of these. They're going to be quite useful, so um, we'll put them into cargo. One, two. How are we doing with our engines? Uh, pretty quick, actually. Half a year until we produced another, you know, 56 of them. Okay. Okay, you can see here that we just gained research points for EM sensor six again they're using 11s but because we've got five it's taking us to the next tier so we're getting research points to do with the six tier so still very nice I don't, i'm not gonna pass up having you know pretty awesome stuff size six missile launcher Fire controls? Ooh. Ooh, more Jagnus. Yay! Okay. Uh, we also got the retooling for the Vindian. So. Let's start building a load of them. We're going to put these into Battle Fleet. One, two, three, four, five. And then we bought a load of Jagnus. I think we'll keep building more Jagnus. We have kind of run up against this problem of... Yeah, our transports take ages to get to anywhere outside Sol, and that means to move stuff faster, we need more of them. Um, so yeah, we'll build another cargo, 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 cargo. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Size one missile launchers, more fire controls. Might actually want to like do a thing with that. Also with the tech scan. Yeah, let's put like a text color on you. Um, and then wreck salvaged. I mean, wreck salvaged should probably be like a rusty color, right? That just looks bad. About. You know, solid. Let's go with more blue because it's data related. Research points for flag bridge? What? This is really good stuff. Good sea whiz. Saurium harvester. Yeah, they were harvesting saurium. That's what they were above the gas giant for. They actually had a saurium place. Neat. What do we get this time? 
points for fire control speed rating. This is this is the good stuff. Like this is really really quality material we're getting here. Okay, we got shipbuilding research rate buff. Working on orbital diameter. Eh. Uh, Harusiak, you're complaining, and we also got more seawiz. I'm hoping that seawiz we can break down to get Gore's info because that would be a really nice buff. Uh, who was complaining? It was you. Oh, right. You're in the Sol system. Yeah, you can just wait there. Oh, hello. We just got a military jump drive, which honestly is not that good. Um, oh, I know why that is. We just salvaged the wreck of our latest uh, science craft. There's a reason that's not a good jump drive. We've got maintenance bays. We've got our own EM sensor. Hey, it's all our own stuff. Great. Okay, we've got gamma shields. We're now working on uh, making shield generators larger. Just like engines, shield generators have a buff when they're larger. You get more shield for your unit size of shield generator. Uh, we also got genome sequence research. Sweet. Okay. Um, everyone in RP who's been wanting this for a while, we now have done genome sequence research. We can start doing genetic tech. Let's look at what genetic tech we can do. People have been asking me for that for so long. Basic genetic enhancement for infantry. I believe this gives us like 25% extra HP. Yeah. People want it. We're going to get it. And we've got 40% buff. Uh, we'll get the terraforming one first because our terraforming rate hasn't had a buff at all yet, I think. Or has it? You know, we, we've gone to 32. This is going to take us to 40. So yeah, it's going to be an increase of a third. So yeah, we need to do it. Um, then we'll do the genetic enhancements for soldiers and we'll queue that up. Uh, and then defensive systems, shield generator. After that, do delta shield. And then after that, we'll do size, I think, 20 after that. It's a big jump. Ooh, electronic countermeasures. Oh, counter countermeasures. Okay. Beam fire controls, auxiliary control, all good stuff. Yeah, I appreciate that the, the government, the Alliance of Sexy Scientists, asked for this because, yeah, salvaging is good material right here. Electronic countermeasures. We've got a whole load of Jagnaths. we got the Poker Maples. Only a couple left to go through now. Okay, Screwless is complaining. Hello. What is your problem? Lack of fuel. Well, sorry about that. Okay, we've got a load of Jagnus. So what I'm going to do with this new 10 unit of Jagnus is that we are going to Earth and we're going to pick up a load of those uh, automated mines. We've got 87. Uh, ugh, only 87. Okay, well. Automated mine. Go to Kalika. And then... I guess we could order template this if we wanted, but... Yeah. We've put no mines on Kalika's comet so far, so let's do that now. Unload all. Go to Sol. Do the thing again. Grab the automated mines. Go to Kalika. Unload all the automated mines. Go to Sol. Load automated mines. Go to Kalika. This might go on for a while. Okay, and that should take 70 automated mines, 10 to each of the seven comets. Is seven comets right? Or is, no, it's six comets. One, two, three, four, five. 
Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Oh, over here. Six comments. Yeah, so that's 60 automated mines. Now, we don't actually have many automated mines, but hopefully by the time they've done this, which will take two years, we will. So I'm actually going to say repeat this four times. That's going to take, you know, ages to do. But that will take 50 automated mines to each comet, which is a reasonable amount. And then if we have a look at Earth, we're hoping that we'll have more automated mines by then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. Oh, well. Uh, we'll deal with this. We need to up our automated mine production rate, in all honesty. Uh, where are we going to get that percentage from? I mean, for now, we'll take it from... Oh, we can't take it from that because that will affect these. I guess we'll take it from the terraforming base for now. We'll double the rate of automated mine production. That's a load of people on Agent who are available. Like, we could send over, what, 13 shipments of mines? Yeah. Let's do it. 130 mines. Uh, so, Jagnath 5, you've just finished orders. Go to Earth. Load. Mine. Go to Agent. Unload. Uh, we'll load all minerals and then we'll come back. That way we actually bring the minerals back with us. Unload all minerals and refuel. And then repeat that 12 more times. I think we'll stop cycling this because we've taken plenty of infrastructure over to agents so far. Same for this, so... You both should do your last trip over there. There's a lot of infrastructure over agents so far. Um, now, one thing we could do is start shipping people over to Hoyle. I don't know how many people have been able to be supported by Hoyle. There we go. Population supported is above 10 million, and that's what we were looking for. Okay. When they're done, they're going to start moving research labs over to Hoyle. We will need to send people over to Hoyle, though. Uh, 2.56 live there at the moment. We can transport another 9. So, let's do that. We need colony fleet. Earth. Load. Go to Hoyle. It's under H. I knew that. Unload colonists. Come back to Earth. And refuel. And then repeat that. I'm only going to say seven times, so it does it eight, eight million in total, just because there will be breeding going on over the course of this three-year period. But once we can use that dormant uh, construct to get an 8% bonus to power and propulsion, that will be so, so beautiful. Okay, the Wolfkas are done. Let's go see their hall. Um, where do we store you? Here we go. They now want to go to Lotto Skills, which uh, maybe don't go there. Let's exclude Alien Controlled. Seems like you might be pushing your luck there, mate. In fact, I'll take away your standing order to prevent that. Let's go to Sol. Let's go to Earth, and then we unload all ship components, and then we unload all minerals, and then we'll do a refuel. And we have one auxiliary control, three beam fire controls, two seawiz, um, a commercial magnetoplasm engine. I'm pretty sure that was ours. Uh, a good EM sensor, an EM sensor that's ours. Three geo sensors, uh, a jump drive that's ours. Main engineering. Main storage bay. Missile fire controls. An engine that's ours. Size department. Ours. Ten size one missile launchers. Okay. Size six missile launcher. Sorry, I'm harvester. Three thermal sensors that are not ours. A thermal sensor that is ours. And uh, a load of minerals. In fact, quite a few minerals. And then look at the tech we've got as well. All pretty damn good stuff. 
Especially the flag bridge. That was a good haul. If we can keep that up. The Lilstrom's completed orders orbiting Earth. Destination cannot be found. Okay, what happened there? Uh, we'll deal with that in a second. Let's deal with the easy one first. Titan. How's your atmosphere doing, mate? Temperature is still low. Okay. Let's keep adding more warming gas. And I guess we'll go to two atmospheres of that. Gonna be a lot of pressure on that planet. We've got orbital mining diameter increase, which means that someone is free to do more research. What was that? A construction production tech? Probably. Got so much money coming in. Ridiculous. Um, do the jump point stabilization module. It doesn't really seem to be a need for it. Kind of liking the idea of doing the research rate. Construction rate, maybe. Yeah, let's do construction rate. And then after that, we'll queue up. Maintenance production rate. And then... And then we'll go research rate for 40,000. Big expense, but it's probably worth it. Uh, we'll also remove five people from that. It's not super important to get that done ASAP. And I think we'll put them onto terraforming. Get that done like a little bit quicker. Because there's huge benefits to be able to terraform stuff. It's just so useful. I kind of want that like as fast as possible. Uh, improve command and control. We don't need you as much. So I'm actually going to deprioritize you. And I'm going to dump some into our sensors. Because I'm a really good person for that. And one more into terraforming. There we go. Right. Um, production of engines completed. We're now building mines. We're building our fuel station. Great. Okay. And the Lielstrom cannot find its destination in Sol. Okay, Lielstrom, what is your malfunction? Oh, well. Um, we'll go again. Refuel from Colony. Uh, then we'll go down. We'll find Space Station. Tractor. Any ship in fleet. Auto route through to Tholius. Move to location. Release track the ship. Back, come back to Sol. And then I guess we'll cycle that. But you're probably going to be outclassed soon enough. But yeah, we'll, we'll cycle it four more times. And then at the end, we'll just add in a lovely refuel from Colony. Oh, it'll take you just over a year. No, it won't. No, it won't, mate. No, it will not. How's uh, the Alistair doing? Which, honestly, we should rename. <laughs> Pardon me. You need a G1. Okay, here we go. Uh, we just got a whole load of tech downloads, so that's a whole bunch of tech. And we also completed our work into ground force construction rate. Which means... These mixed companies are almost done. They'll be done a month and a half time. And then we just need maybe like a command regiment or something. But we might have to just take the fight to Davit right now. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is... Oh no. Yeah, we're good. We're building our ships. Progress is going nicely. Okay. Well, let's build ourselves our tug. The Melody. The Abadla. We've got the drives. And if that proves to be good, we'll build another one. Now, it's saying it'll take until February 87. It'll take until May this year. Because it's so, so much drive, which are already built. Like, 
yeah, that's going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to that. 15 inactive research labs. Who died? Someone must have died. Oh, it was ground combat, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, because you just finished uh, the construction rate. Well, there's a whole load of stuff we could be working on. Oh, and also the wolf because are back, so we can now have a look at that technology. So obviously we got the uh, data, but now we can take apart things. Oh, please pause the game. Thank you. There was reports of a ghost population in Solaris on Comet 3. Ghost base. Probably just a tracking station. It tends to be pretty typical. Uh, definitely should like highlight new alien population. Maybe it's like, like a gray color. Now, if we go to Earth stockpile, you'll see we've got all of our stuff here, including a whole bunch of engines. Hey, hey engines. Uh, but also stuff that we've managed to salvage. So this thermal sensor, for instance, if we disassemble that. Bam. Gain a lot of research points. The thermal sensitive 11. Oh, I thought it was for the level below. Okay. Uh, what else do we want to do? Um, missile launchers. Reload rate. Reload rate 5. Holy cow. Yeah, we're getting a lot of points. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's keep going. Uh, so how still won't have any tech. We'll keep that. Science department we already got. Missile fire control. Yep, the EM sensor inside of it. We got points for that. Uh, main engineering. Nice. EM sensor. Team fire control. And see whiz. Beam fire control range 80,000. That's so many tiers above us. Also, fire control speed rating 5,000. We're working on that right now. Gauze cannon fire rate 5. 1,800 points towards that. Ooh. 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 Electronic counter countermeasures. They put electronic counter countermeasures in the Sea Wiz. Wow. Okay. That's some high tech Sea Wiz right there. Um, we could break down some of our own stuff just to get the resources back. Honestly, let's try breaking down this engine. I think it's ours, but yeah, it's ours. Okay, well, that was lovely. We earned a whole load of really cool research points. Um, stuff, you know, is going to go a lot faster now. Thank you, Precursors. I think we might need to pop up to Unique Fossil. Because that's the first time we actually encountered the precursors and make it round two. Also, I think that's too low. It's gonna bug me. That's worse. There we go. If we can take them out in Unique Fossil and then salvage them, even more tech? Hell, when we do the ground invasion, we could find some really good tech, maybe. Like, it's a full on abandoned colony over here. And abandoned outpost? Not here, but in Davit. Not here. I know what I'm on about. Boom! And there's your salt companies. Screw loose, why are you orbiting Jupiter? Ah, because you came to refuel. I'm going to have you just come back to Earth. Okay. Maybe we should go to Unique Fossil now. It's close. It's got jump points. Yeah. Sneezing. There's also sneezing involved. No. Yes. Yes. No. 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 Okay. We're good. We're clear. Uh, okay. Task Force Davit and Task Force Davit 2. Let's actually just rename you. We'll keep those task forces. Um, you're going to be Task Force Alpha. 
And you're going to be Task Force Beta. You are pretty good Earth refuel, begin overhaul. You could still do with it as well. Okay, I was going to send you to Unique Fossil, but for some reason you're actually unfortunately kind of having issues still. Wow, how many medals do you have, C so Stephanie Lind? Knight Commander Stephanie Lind has so many medals. Let's go have a look at her. Knight Commander Stephanie Lind. Is there an easy way to, like, find her? Because this is a lot of people. Right, Knight Commander. Knight Commander. She's a Reaction 10, Tactical 15, Terraforming Communications. Let's search by Communications, because she's good at that. She's the only one with a 30. There we go. Okay, she has 10 years of service. Destroy a 1,000 tons of hostile ground force. Destroy, destroy a hostile ground unit. Okay. Uh, destroy 50,000 tons of military shipping. 25,000 tons. 10,000 tons, and also destroy hostile ship. Pessimistic and strange medical condition. Damn. She is, is, uh, very well decorated. I can see why she's the task force leader. All right, here's the issue. Uh, commercial maintenance, blah, blah, blah. Maintenance facility capacity. We have a capacity for just over a third of a million tons. The shipping tonnage we are maintaining is almost half a million tons. We have way too many ships in orbit for us to actually maintain, so the ships in orbit are actually slowly degrading just at a reduced rate. We need to massively improve on this. We need to easily meet what we have here and then be ready for expansion. I think we should have double this. I think we should have a million, uh, which means we need to get ourselves a big increase in capacity. So part of that's going to be through tech. Let's say we aim for 500,000 tons. So probably, let's say, 500 maintenance facilities. That's a lot of maintenance facilities. Okay, uh, geranium and neutronium. It's not like we've got a geranium issue, is it? I think we're going to need to strip percentages off of the uh, habitats and stuff because again they are a lot of geranium luckily it won't take actually too long to build that three years huh color me impressed we'll also get ourselves some more mines in the meantime my right, task force beta says it's completed orders but if we actually have a look at it they're still overhauling they lie Okay, so we've just built the Melody. The Albadla, our huge 300,000 ton tug. We'll deal with that in a second. Uh, firstly, the Jagnaths have done another good. I should probably say like what they just finished doing in the order. Um, I believe you were transporting infrastructure to and from Hoyle. So we are going to start loading research labs. Now, the issue is that research labs, it takes 20 people to move a research lab. Uh, I can show you that if we bring up uh, installations.ping. Here we go. Research facility. 500,000 tons. That's huge. Like 25 per cargo hold. 20 cargo holds. We're going to wait for the other fleet to be done. Uh, oh, you are done. Okay, in which case, we'll probably just have you attach as a subfleet for now. So, join a subfleet. With five second tick so they're attached. And fresh. There we go. So, Earth, load installation, research lab. The top. Why is it the top? Then... Auto route to Hoyle. And then unload all installations and then auto route back. Oh. Refuel. 
And then repeat it nine times, so we've got ten laps over there. It'll take a while. But once we've got one lab down, we could start tweaking that. That said, we do have an order that says we need ten labs doing power propulsion at any one time. Uh, this is going to be awkward to deal with. We might have to find a way to do that. Uh, anyway. I'll take some time. What else are we looking at? Um... Checking Hoyle, probably. Check the population is going up nicely. Um, it is. Okay. Did I close the ping? I think I closed the ping. I want to have a look at how many people it takes to work a research lab. One million. So we need 10 million available workers, which obviously it's not going to work because you have 10 million people there. A number of them are going to be working to keep themselves alive, like supporting the in the infrastructure, etc. So we're going to need to increase the number of people there, which we are doing the colony ships, but only up to 10 million. We're going to need to maybe increase the amount of infrastructure. So we do have a demand currently going on. But next time, Jagnuff's three up. We'll probably tell them to just pop over there. Oh, you're nearly done. All right, sweet. When you're done, we'll send you to do the thing. In fact, we'll go Earth and we'll put you down as send message. Tell Jag one to infra structure infra. Tell Jag one to infra to oil or science. It would help if I could spell science. Done. Now I won't forget. Okay, AIS have just launched another freighter. Titan has become Tundra. And Earth is complaining about a lack of research facilities because we just nicked one of them. Okay, well, let's have a look at Titan. Yeah, temperature is rising slowly. Overhaul's done. We constructed a tie. Okay, there are things we can do here. So... Uh, first things first, we just produced a melody. Where is the melody? In cargo fleet? I actually don't know where I dumped the melody. This is a bit of an issue. Got too many ships. Help. It's not in colony. It's not in cargo. Did it get dumped into, like, Battle Fleet by mistake? Yes, it did. Uh, we'll bring you down to Cargo, because it's hard to scroll. And then bring you down to Tug. Where is it? It is inside Space Station. Uh, track to specified ship. Then move to... Jupiter 1, and then release tractor ship. And then come back to Earth, refuel. I'm really interested to see what happens when we go forward like five seconds. Hey, shortage of Corundium, it's happening. I did predict it. It'll take 14 days. That's not the worst. Oh God, yeah, your speed is 1,270 while tugging the 1.5 million station or whatever it is. Oh God. You're incredibly powerful. That's actually kind of scary. Okay. Eek. Uh, very well. That's nice. Right. Uh, other things. We had a fleet ready to go into action. Also, Titan, uh, the water vapor is getting pretty low and the hydraulic is not high enough. So I'm actually going to have you pump the water vapor a little bit. Maybe not that much. That would be a lot. Um, just a little bit. Just point 0.1 atmospheres. Should be plenty. Uh, right. That said and done, I believe... Our overhaul is done. Oh, did we just change uh, the fleet commander? Charlotte Haley just took over from Lind. I guess Lind got promoted out of the job. Yeah, Lind was 
very, very qualified. The attack on Davit was actually led by Lind. Yeah. All right, right. Anyway, you're all good to go. Your deployment's good. Yeah, we're going to have you walk over to Unique Fossil and do the fight. You will need a tanker, though. So... Who volunteers? Right. Movement order. Earth. Refuel. Then... Task Force Alpha. Join a subfleet. There's a coronium issue biting us in the butt. Yeah, we need more coronium. Oh, at least it got dissuaded for dissuade? Dissuaged? D avoided for a while. But uh it's it's now here. Not great. Alright, squid's done its thing. Means Oh. Refuel and fleet. Perfect. We'll head up to Unique Fossil. So I guess we go to strategies to begin with. Transit through to Unique Fossil. Um it will probably complain because we can't drag the tanker through because it doesn't have a jump drive. We do have a poke maple available. But I don't see why I want to take the tanker into Unique Fossil anyway. What we'll want to do is drop the tanker at the jump point in Strategist and then transfer without the tanker. So we don't need to use a Poker Mable for this one. Although, again, Poker Mables are there if we need them. Uh, the time target is 41 days. And more fuel sorted. That station has, what, four or five stations there now? Four of them, yeah. The fuel production should be pretty damn good. Yeah, we're up to 67 million fuel. Much better position than we were last time we did a military operation. That was a bit awkward, just being like, yeah, we're really running out of fuel here. Um, whoops. Uh, an active research facility on Hoyle A1. So it begins. And we've just done maximum generator size working on Delta Shields. Okay. Um, we're going to quickly just make sure that after doing Delta Shields, we do... Shield generator size 15. I guess it goes 15, 20. And... I guess because we need, like people running in parallel. We're going to remove maximum engine power from the queue. And then we're going to go to Hoyle. And then we're going to say, hey, for your research, research maximum engine power modifier. Catherine Laconia, do your thing. Okay, so you're getting four times your 25 bonus, plus eight times. So... I'm trying to figure out how this is applied. We're getting almost a four times bonus modifier, which, you know, fantastic. But how is it working? So you're at 3.24 with a 50%. Why are you at 3.24 with 50%? Shouldn't 50% mean you're at three times? Because four times that. So you're an extra plus 200%. So plus 200% obviously is 100 plus 200, three times, three times. Why are you getting that? Where's that bonus coming from? I wonder. Let's look up Sam Sivian. I'm not sure why that's doing that. Uh, so this is scientist. You can have 50 labs. Oh, wow. Okay. 50% research. Huh. Unappreciative, superstitious, ignorant, academic. Uh, okay. Oh, very poor health. Yeah, you're going to go soon. 
Yeah, I don't know why you've got that bonus. But put it this way, this person has a 50% and we're getting a 3.24. If we have a look at Hoyle, 25% and we're getting a 3.888. Just crazy good bonus. Obviously still only got the one lab there, but we're going to work on that. That's going to get much better. Uh, oh, we'll also say sign new. That way anytime our labs get added, they'll get assigned to that. Um, the cronium issues are annoying. So let's start setting up some actual, like, lines. Now, the weird thing here is that if we have a look at Calica. Our jump gate's here. To get to Calica... We've got a, uh, you know, 3.5 billion travel. However, if we go to the comet and cut it to 2.6, we cut almost a billion off our journey. And the comet's going to come closer to the jump gate. What is the orbital period of comet 3? Can we tell? We don't have orbital period on here. Oh, well. Shame. Hmm. Let's shoot everything to Comet 3. And Comet 3. Right. And then uh, we're going to set up a new subdivision of cargo. Or, oh, actually we can probably put it under Roots, but Roots is under Fuel at the moment. Um, We'll probably have to, like divide this differently because currently I've got you know cargo and fuel and habitats and honestly all statics and things I never need to touch can probably get collapsed like I don't ever need to see you know the inside of Kerlika in fact I can just look at this and be like there are five I never need to actually be in here fiddling with them um, I never need to really open up the fuel either I can check the fuel but likewise this should probably go in a separate thing so instead of being habitats we might need to like name this differently and name you um like civilian or something. I mean, is that the case? Not really, but it's civilian commercial. Um, I mean, it's not logistics because logistics is also covering the manual directed stuff. So I think what we'll do is we will create admin and we'll call this new admin habitats. Then we'll rename the top level one to um, civilian. We'll move all of our habitats into the habitats. Um, move harvesters into civilian as well. And then roots into civilian and that way you can close these close these and roots will separate into um do we want to put the fuel route in with the actual like base probably because we'll need to access them together so we've got habitats harvesters mining and then our roots which has the fuel route and cargo route uh, we'll then want to take some Jagnaths and start dividing them into different routes. So we'll start with one for the moment. We'll detach you, bring you up to cargo route, and then we'll rename you using, whoops, uh, FT, Kerlika, oh, Care is okay, Sol, Oh, no, Kerlika, fuel, uh, Kerlika cargo run should be fine. Everything, Every cargo the run that isn't named as, like, where it's going is going to Earth. That's what we'll assume. Kerlika and um, Comet 3 cargo. Uh, mining run. Mining run. There we go. Um, we'll also want to change this from cargo route to mining route because later on we will want to move stuff like maintenance supplies around and for now everything is going to be minerals 
And then we give you the order of go to Kalika. Go to Comet 3. Load all minerals until full. Which means you'll wait until you're full, then you'll come back to Earth and then unload all minerals, refuel, and then go back. And then we'll just put you on cycle. And now you should basically forever do that and we can kind of ignore you from now on. Like, that's done. The great thing about civilian is we can just hide civilian. Like, we don't need to touch that again. Only when we add stuff to it. So, that's all good. We will want to eventually set up some more of these mining routes. Uh, I think Agent is another place where we've got a lot of stuff going down right now. Yeah, and obviously, you know, we're collecting that on Agent 3. Everyone is shooting the stuff towards Agent 3. Yep. Uh, let's just double check that Agent 3 is the correct target. I mean, they're all basically close together, so it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Um, Vulgaris is, unfortunately, kind of a long way away. But we're going to grab another Jagnath. Bring it up here to Mining Route. And then this is going to be Rename FT... Agent, Agent, um, three. I mean, there's no other star in the system, so I guess I'll be good. Agent three and uh, mining run. So auto route to agent. Go there. Load all minerals until full. Back to Sol. Earth. Uh, unload all minerals. Refuel. And then cycle moves. And again, you're golden. We'll need a few more to do that. Like, we'll need something to go to Subject Delta to do that. Someone to go to Sleepy Zoe and Tholus when they're set up. They're currently not. Someone to do that to Hoyle. Again, we need to set that up properly. But this is a good start. Yes, we... Definitely could do with more Jagnaths. And hell, we've got the independent Jagnath here that's just floating around. But I want to kind of keep that in case I'm like, hey, I need to send Deep Space Tracking Station somewhere. But this is a pretty good start. The only downside is, um, is it too late? Corundium is hit at zero and we're using far more than we have. Like, loads more. Geranium, look at that. We're draining that by a thousand. We're geraniuming it. We're draining it? We're draining... Yeah, oh, shut up. Um... Mostly because we're just pumping out of these uh, maintenance facilities, which kind of sucks. Mm. Yeah, I guess for now, we'll put the extra 20% onto the green fields. Nope, they cost geranium as well. A lot of geranium. Okay, who costs less geranium? Uh, not many people. Not many people. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Well, that's going to be a problem. I did predict mining was going to be an issue. Uh, well, at least our tech's incredible. And now we're utilizing the dormant construct on Hoyle. That's nice. Soon we'll be able to do a, a bit of a army work as well. October. So yeah, two months. Two months we'll be able to go and fly in and work on Davit. Admittedly with a pretty small force and nothing super combined because we don't have the higher level command units, which are going to take a little bit longer. Um, actually, they're much quicker than the mixed companies. I guess because they don't have like heavy troopers and stuff running around. Are we done June next year? Hmm, maybe we should wait until June so we have like a full on actual little army group. That way I can explain how the hierarchy tree works. And yeah, they need it kind of for supplies. If it ends up being an extended battle, they'll need the supplies provided by the background. Yeah. Okay. So for now, I've been Naturalistium. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Subscribing, liking, all of that jazz. Um, you can go check out the Discord for the interaction. Until next time, I've been Naturalistium. Stay shiny.